Hello everybody and welcome to Brands Designs. You might have noticed that my voice sounds off this week. That's because I just had my wisdom teeth removed and I can't talk. I did however make this video stylistically different so that you won't notice. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I just swallowed some cotton. But hey, I can talk again. Let's make a poster for the Denver Film Festival. Those of you who have watched some of my former videos have probably caught on that I really like movies, and I was ecstatic when I was asked to make this project. Similar to the Telluride Blues and Brews Festival, I wanted to make this poster have a familiar style, and give movie lovers all the reason in the world to just keep staring at it. I thought the best way to do this would be to take a well-known movie poster, and replace all the characters on it with a broader spectrum of classical film characters. Not him! Before I found characters, I needed to get a good movie poster, it had to belong to a movie well-loved by all. The design needed to be famous in and of itself, and it needed to detail tons of scenes and characters so that my rendition would give movie fans plenty to look at. I thought the best movie poster that fit all those bases was Indiana Jones. Before I got involved in the characters, I really wanted to make sure I nailed the background. I drew some bricks, some columns, a circle that has nothing to do with Indiana Jones but keeps the composition more interesting, and then I just needed to add a title. Put some vines everywhere, and perfect! I need an action hero to be the star of the poster. Not him! So I thought the most iconic character to replace Indy would be James Bond. But which James Bond? After a grueling decision-making process, I decided to use Pierce Brosnan. After integrating Pierce in the same style as the original poster, I needed to come up with a damsel in distress to replace Marion. That works. Leia in the costume that supermodels wear in the Seventh Ring of Hell. Well, there she is. Moving on. On the other side of the poster, there was a shot of Marion and Indy tied to a pole. This became the Eye of Sauron from Lord of the Rings. After that, I had some space off to the right to fill. At this point, I began to get tired of making the poster. As God is my witness, this will all be over one day. I'm going to live through this and when it's all over, I'll be done with this poster. If I have to lie, cheat, steal, or kill insects, as God is my witness, I will finish this poster. After I cooled down a little bit, I wanted to incorporate a screaming character to take the place of Belloc. My head went to Psycho. I wanted to draw Marion Raven- sorry, Marion Crane. After figuring out what Miss Crane looks like in color, I drew her from the only shot in the movie that makes her recognizable. Up next I had Monty Python. Ouch. I don't have much to say about this, it just seems like the most obvious critical acclaimed comedy with super recognizable characters. So I drew Arthur. Moving back to the other side, I wanted to draw The Wizard of Oz because it's probably the most iconic movie ever made. Where I had been focusing on lead characters for most of these movies, I wanted to make a more secondary character this time, and I knew that nobody would mistake the Scarecrow for anybody else. He made a worthy addition to my poster. And then there was one more spot to fill. I had done a pretty good job about incorporating film throughout the ages, and making sure that I leave no movie genre untouched. But for my last movie, I wanted it to be well-loved, but kind of an understated classic. Something that's a little cultish. Not that! I was talking about the Princess Bride. Inconceivable! In the Jones poster, we had the swordsman who gave us one of the greatest sword fights in all of cinema, and it seemed only fitting that the last spot was reserved for Inigo. And with that, I have completed my poster, as well as made a fun game of how many characters can you recognize. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you didn't like it, then I apologize for giving the Rocky Horror Picture Show such a hard time, and you should check out some of my other videos where I don't give the Rocky Horror Picture Show such a hard time. If you need a designer, then you should check out my website, the link's in the description, and be sure to have a happy weekend.